We live? Yep. Hello everyone. Um, we are the Deers Cry Band and we're based here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we'd like to start with a song uh, that has a traditional Irish melody. It's Lao Air Near Shore, which is a beautiful Ashling vision poem that I learned from Ailish Kennedy when she was teaching at the retreat in Texas. Um, but I have uh, my own poem that I put with it um, called In Clear Winter's Night.
this, and we are thrilled to be a part of it. Um, we are the Deer's Cry Band, uh, based here in Nashville. And um, I'll introduce Patrick in a second. This is Brian Brock doing amazing percussion here, and Will McLean on banjo and guitar. Um, this song is called Sing a Song in the Darkness, and I was very much inspired and also cried over this video I saw of um, Italy and lockdown and a, a street, um, a neighborhood where people were leaning out their windows and singing to one another, and I was reminded of this song of how important it is to shine your light in the darkness. Uh, so that's kind of the theme of this, and here we go. Here we go.
Thank you so much, Susan. Um, I think we're ready for our next song here. This is um, in the Irish language. It's called Uncalling Alling, which means the lovely girl. And um, I'll give you a little translation of the first verse, because it pretty much gives a feel for the whole song. It's definitely a pining love song. And here's the first verse. Uncalling Alling, a dog may grow you. O beautiful girl whom I gave my love. She is jacious alia na blas na rose. She is kinder and lovelier than a flower or rose. Gun e er lovlong is cliche tame. Without your hand in mine, I am weak. A hauling allings to fa mogong. O lovely girl, you are the cause of my grief.
got lots of strings going on. I think Brian's balancing it out over there with <laughs> the percussion. Yeah, I'm a woodwind player, so your strings, so many strings kind of scare me. After a while, I see more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Being surrounded by strings. Thank you so much. Um, so I think, yes, uh, we're going to do um, an original song called Rise with the Dawn. And uh, since you were talking about the website, this is the title track for our album. Um, and it's, uh, I think it is the first song I wrote after I moved to Nashville. And uh, it's very much a song about a choice, um, not to give in to despair, but to rise above it. So it's kind of a rallying cry. Imagine each land, a tale and a book, each one worthy the pages it took to tell every trial, relish each joy.
recognize, so on the album, Joseph Carmichael's playing uh, guitar and whistle and flute on that, and Heather's singing, and, and Sierra, and this is our rendition with the percussion and bass, so it's, it's a really fun um, song. Uh, January 16th. Oh my goodness, 2020. 2020. This year has gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, that's, and we just so happened, my cousin did the artwork for our album, and um, it's, et voila. <laughs> Got it there. Um, so yeah, we're going to go back to the Irish language for this, and I'm, I'm like just moving the harp out of the way so you can see the bass uh, better. <laughs> Ta -da! So uh, this song uh, is really special to me. I used to work at the North Texas School of Irish Music and directed a chorus there. And now that's being directed by the amazing Allie Johnson. Uh, but this next song is one that we do together. And we actually got to do a workshop with Moya Brennan um, through our sister school in Letterkenny. And we all went and worked with her. and. Um, so, Clonid's recording of this song was a huge inspiration to me. Uh, so we're doing Rink of Philip a Hjol, which is uh, Philip of the Music's Dance. And just have a lot of fun with this one. Pretend you're at a virtual Kaylee dance. This one I'm using the Udu drum mainly, which is also an African instrument, um, with some other little things thrown in, <laughs> some Moroccan bongos and metal percussion, some broom corn sticks <laughs> for variety. So I wrote this song for my dad. It's <clears throat> called The Dragonfly. And uh, 
when I was growing up, we'd always go swimming in the summers, and there'd be these beautiful dragonflies around the pool. And my dad would stand very still with one finger up in the air and wait patiently. And eventually, a dragonfly would land on his finger, and you could see just the beautiful intricacy of the wings. And uh, so that's the main inspiration for this. And then just also a reminder to open our eyes to the beauty, which is often right in front of us. Am I still in the shot or do I need to move? No, you're fine. I'm fine, okay.
Oh, thank you. So this is a, another original song. Uh, some of you will be familiar with the author Madeline Lingle. She's one of my favorite authors. She wrote A Wrinkle in Time. Uh, but one of my... Me too, me too. Sorry to interrupt. She's a favorite of mine too. Oh, yay! Yes, I'm a huge Madeline Lingle fan. I can just go on for ages about her. Um, but uh, there's a prayer book that I got from my mom's friend Patty uh, called Anytime Prayers. And I just really love how she describes the stars. And so that was an inspiration a lot for these words. And um, just uh, the song is about how God sings his truth to us through his creation. See through the windows, the skies turn to black. Pulsing the starlight, the clouds cover
to that book in particular. I love it. Yes, it's. I love how music can evoke those different. I mean, it can remind you of a book or even a smell. It's just music's amazing that way. Um, it, so that is, uh, I think we're, yes, we're going back to Irish now, Irish uh, language song. This one, uh, this is our very quirky song. Um, many of you will probably know this, and I'm curious to hear the viewers' thoughts on like their background with the song, especially if they're from Ireland. This is Sheeta Lamoy, which is, uh, She is Your Granny, is the title. <laughs> And um, my understanding with the story here is you have uh, two people in the village, a wealthy widow and a younger man that are said to be getting married. Um, and another name for the song is Kyla Hanargid, the hag with the money. So it's like people in the village are gossiping and they're telling the older, uh, the widow, uh, don't marry the young man. He's just reckless and he's going to spend all your money at the pub. And then they're telling him, oh, don't marry the hag with the money. That's not a good idea. So they kind of get married anyway. So this is just this kind of fun, groovy song. I'm going to move this harp again. So you can see Patrick with all his bass. Okay, so y'all ready? I got the other one in my head. Uh...
Irish song, a lullaby. How are we doing on time? Is anyone kept? 2 more songs here. We have this one and then our um, The Deer's Cry Prayer, which I definitely want to do because it is the St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do this one real fast and then we'll hop right into that other one. Doom to Ah, yes. Doom to Hool. This is Close Your Eyes, um, a beautiful lullaby I learned from the singing of Ma Rainey Wayne. Um, and is, yeah. Karen, is Karen in the shot? Yes. yes. Okay, good, good. <laughs> when you lean back, then you're not. But if you're sitting up straight with the heart, you're just yeah, touching your fingers. You can scooch in a bit. There you go. That's perfect. to close with our St. Patrick's breastplate prayer. And here is Will Peck on the banjo. Um, so yeah, this is interesting that it being St. Patrick's Day, um, 
so St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer is by that name or the Deer's Cry, which is uh, kind of where we got our inspiration. And then on the album, uh, there's, I don't have time to read it uh, today, but there's a poem called The Miracle of the Deer's Cry that I wrote that Owen O'Sullivan recorded that just kind of explains more of the history of it. Strange. 
Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Yay. All right. I'm